Hi, this is my Renaissance Grandma. This is day six of Banana Blossoms, and today I'm going to attempt to make sagey sausage. Stay tuned. That's my Renaissance Grandma. That's my Renaissance Grandma. That's my Renaissance Grandma. Hey. She be flipping that dirt, stay designing them shirts. She be knee deep in that soil, marinating them oils. Making it, baking it, creating it. Yeah, making it, baking it, creating it. That's my Renaissance grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, I am really going out on a limb here trying to make these sagey sausage. I have been craving them. So we're gonna see if it works out. If you can smash that like button, share it, subscribe, and we're gonna get to it. Okay, so what we're gonna use tonight is boiled pecans. That's one cup. Okay, today I have the flax seeds, but I added some chick vegetable broth to it because I don't have all the binders that I had when I made the meatballs because the TVP, the protein, it had soy in it and it kind of gave me the itchy. So I'm not doing that tonight. I still have my flour, one full can of banana blossoms. I have a little bit of syrup and I have three pinches of sage of sage uh one t one pinch of oregano and then i have my lady v spices this once again is the banana blossoms that i'm using and let's get started i am going to start off by putting the pecans in first this is still a little warm so let me put something up under that okay so these okay you know you could use pecans boiled pecans as a meat substitute but i'm going to put these in first because I don't really like the crunchiness. Even though they're real soft, I boiled them for 30 minutes. See, they just bend. They really are soft. But, and you don't want to, once again, turn this into minced meat. So, I'm going to put them on the bottom. And, I really don't want to blend i will i'm going to just post them a couple times before i add the banana blossom okay that's one good one that's two they still pretty chunky so that's three, that's four, that's five. This is what it's looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the banana blossoms. I don't have as much season. It's not reddish like it usually is. That's because I have a lot of seasoning in. Oh, and I also put in just a little bit of charcoal flavoring. It's a powder, just a little bit, maybe a half a pinch. 
all of this experimental. I have no idea. It sounds good in my mind. I know what I'm craving. I know I haven't had sagey sausage in, wow, 20, close to, it's in the mid 20s. Okay, so. So next I will put in, and so like I said, I put a uh, broth in it this time instead of just letting it stay powdery because I need as many binders as I can because I don't have, I'm out of mushrooms. So I would have used that for the chunky meat uh, texture and I don't have the protein, so. I really don't know how this is going to turn out, but I would be ecstatic if it turned out. So, I'm going to put in the spices. I have the salt free Lady V spice. If you're interested in Lady V soft free products. It's in my about page of my YouTube page, my Renaissance Grandma. I'm going to just add this little bit of syrup. And then, like I did last night, I will hold off on the flour until I need help trying to mold these sausage patties. That's too good. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna try one more. Let's see what this is looking like. That's what it's looking like. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. It always smells good, but we don't know what it's going to taste like. Let me see if I can smell the sage. I really can't. I might add some more sage. I real I like sagey sausage, but I don't want it overpowering with sage. But I think I could stand to put a little bit more. Of course, if this does turn out, I will be eating pancakes for dinner. Yeah, I don't really smell sage at all. Okay, I'm gonna take my glove off so I can uh, touch this sage container. I think I'm gonna put it's one, there's two more. 
my glove back on and we will start trying to mold these. See, it does not have all that liquid in it. It has some and no, not much. That's what I was telling you, that mushroom makes a lot of fluid. So when you're cooking with mushrooms, you always have to allow for the juices to come through when you're preparing what you're preparing. This is really fairly dry. I'm wondering, do I even need the flour, but... Guess I better put a little. Okay, let me uh think I might just sprinkle a little bit over it. I have really enjoyed learning right along with you all this week of what I can do with banana blossoms. You know, just because you don't eat meat doesn't mean you don't miss that texture, that bite of meat. So... Let's see how the mold and action is going to go here. Oh, excellent. Make me a little round sausage patty. Also going to put these in the air fryer on 350 for 15 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to going to need 15 minutes because these are flat and those meatballs were thicker. And I always say, now it may not taste like a sagey sausage, but I can guarantee you it's going to taste good because it smells fantabulous. I'm telling you, the spices is the key to making a dish taste good. I have had people, and I'm not just talking about Lady B spices, I'm talking about seasoning things well in general. I have had people who bought spices from me and their husbands was like, what did you do? What did you do different? And some of them just even kept it a secret to my, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about because they did not want to tell them that they 
had added these spices because, you know, I'm sure there was a little, they felt a little in their feelings that they really was showing them how they felt about their cooking. But, uh, okay, I might as well make this one a little bigger. No sense in keeping that in there. But, yeah. Now, that's those little pointy things that they were talking about when I showed you, told you that other video about these little pointy things that be in banana blossom. That's what those two little pointy things are. I've never ran across them before. Okay. So I am going to spray my pan, my air fryer, once again with the usual. And I will be back to show you the progress. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, let's see what we got here. I let them run for seven minutes. I looked at them, and then I put them back for another five minutes. So, like I said, I don't know if they're going to taste as sagey like I want them to. But if not, I think they probably still should taste good. And I will have to taste them before I can determine what my side dish is going to be. I'm hoping it's flapjacks. But if it does not give me that sausage vibe, then... I'll have to prepare something else. I'm sorry I don't have accurate measurements, but I am learning at the same time you are. Okay. I am ready to taste. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I need a fork. Why is it that forks always the first thing to disappear in a home? I don't get it. I think people throw them away on their dinner trays. Always buying forks. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to fix some flapjacks. Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow is the last day for Banana Blossom. I'm almost feeling like I need to open up a Banana Blossom Cafe. Not. But anyway, tomorrow I'm going to do tea for the last one. I'm just going to show you the natural way of just using the basic of the banana blossom to prepare a tea for those who have medical issues revolved around blood issues like hemoglobin, hematocrit, red blood cells, that type of thing, if you don't know what I was talking about. So do your research, learn about banana blossom, I'm going to show you the basics for making this tea. You can in turn add other things like I do my tea. 
I just go around and pick out other things that I know is beneficial for us along with helping our blood and I add those to my tea. You can do that or you can just put that a regular tea bag in a cup of this basic tea. I'm going to show you and make your tea from there. Thank you so much for following me. I greatly appreciate it. I'll pray for you. You pray for me. And we'll watch God change things. God bless. This is the final product. The only thing I would change is I would use the mushrooms, which I didn't have, in place of the pecans. Because like I said, I don't like that little crunch that's in it. But other than that, it's a keeper. Bye-bye.